Jed can help fix your math problems. Hi, this is Jed with Math Fix, the video lessons that help fix your math problems. Today we're going to be discussing fractions, just using one fraction and reducing it. This, the, the type of fraction we're dealing with though today is improper, which means the numerator is larger than the denominator, so you know this value is larger than one. That's, a, that's, a, that's an observation that you should be using to check your answer at the end. So first of all, let's get started. How do we do this? Well, we find the common factor. So I just like to write them up here, 2, 4, and 8 for 56. 16 is also has factors of 2, 4, and 8. So let's take the, most, the highest, most common factor. It's, using that will be the quickest way to reduce this. So you take the highest common factor and you invert it and multiply it on the numerator and the denominator because 1 over 8 divided by 1 over 8, remember that's just equal to 1. And when you do that, you're not changing the value of the fraction. You're just helping reduce the numerator and reducing the denominator. So 8 divides into itself once, 8 divides into 56 7 times, 8 divides into itself once, 8 divides into 16 2 times. So your answer is 7 over 2, which is also 3 and a half. Now, remember I taught you about how to check your answer. You should use the DAN method. That's your denominator multiplied by your answer equals the numerator. So the denominator, numerator, denominator, that's 16. Your answer, I'm going to use this because the 2 is on the bottom, it's easier to deal with. 7 over 2. 2 divides into itself once. 2 divides into 16 18, 18, 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56. That's your numerator. There it is there. So you've checked your work by using the Dan method. Now you know your answer is right. Use the Dan method and to reduce fractions and to check them. And that will help you get better uh, marks on your tests and exams. Thanks for stopping by MathFix. I hope this helped you. Have a great day.